Hello everybody, I'm Harold with Nature's Friends and today I'm going to show you how to replace and troubleshoot an arc fault breaker in your panel box. Okay, this is what's called an arc fault breaker and all your new houses have them, your older houses doesn't. But then it has a test button just like your ground fault receptacles, ground fault breakers. You'll have ground fault breakers or you'll have ground fault receptacles in your house. But, to, but if it's off, okay, you push the test button, it's off. Okay, and then if you got one tripping on you, what you want to do is go in that room or rooms, whatever it is, and unplug whatever you have plugged into the outlets, and then turn your light switches off to make sure everything is off, and then try it again and see if it holds. And if it holds, then what your problem is, is then something you have plugged in, and this arc fault breaker is picking it up. So before you call your electrician to replace it, or you try to replace it on your own, just process of elimination, unplug everything and then you'll see because a lot of your antique lamps they'll have an arc in them and they'll trip it. So anyway to replace it then, okay, we're going to turn it off. Okay, this one's not bad but I'm just going to show you how to replace it. So then, okay, <clears throat> I had a hard time from someone, I had a comment, he said you idiot why didn't you turn the main power off? Well, you can if you turn the main off, but if you do, make sure you turn all your breakers off. Then turn the main off. Then after you turn the main back on, you turn all your breakers back on one at a time so you don't put that heavy load on your main because sometimes it doesn't want to come back on when you turn it off. Okay, so we I'm not turning the main off. I'm just turning the breaker off. Take it out. Okay. And you'll see here. You'll see these funny, the wires hooked to these funny places on this breaker. This is your neutral, and that goes to your neutral bar that's in your panel box. Okay, and then if you have a, a, a disconnect and you have a, a ground bar and a neutral bar, this has to go to the neutral bar, not the ground bar. Okay, now what you do is you put the white wire on there with, right there with the other white wire. Then you put your hot wire right there and you tighten your screws down. So now you have your hot on this and your neutral on this section and this curly white stranded wire goes to your neutral bar. Then you slide it in, push it in and turn it on and there you got it. And then to test it push your test button, you trip, reset it. So that's how if you have a bad arc fault breaker. But first I remind you go in and unplug everything. These are very sensitive things. They're very safe in your house because if you have something that's malfunctioning it's going to kill the power to it. So they're very safe, they're very good, but they're very sensitive. So just before you call your electrician or you go buy these breakers are right expensive. Like 50 60 bucks so if you and if you buy from a contractor you're gonna pay a lot more so anyway test it first on your own unplug everything make sure that it's still faulting and then the check then change it or call someone to change it but first check it out and make sure that it is bad <coughs> excuse me so if you have any questions email me at naturesfriends and at thank you